Billy Bass here, and I just wanted to do like a quick short on what I think of the Bamboo Lab A1 so far after I got out of the box, got it assembled, got the AMS light attached to it and loaded up with filaments. It's kind of a dream right now. It's printing without me having to worry. Like I'm starting to lose the anxiety I had with the Ender 3 Pro um, because I'd be like, okay, is it going to print? Is it going to turn into spaghetti? Is it going to print three quarters of an inch and turn into spaghetti? Which is what it started to do. But so far with the Bamboo Lab, it's just you put it together, you select what you want to print, you select the filament, and it just does everything else. It has where it levels the bed, it has where it scrapes the, the uh, it cleans the hot end, it, it scrapes off the excess filament that's like spo like spooling out and just, well, well, melting out where it's just like purging it just to get stuff going. It's so good. It, it just works, and I needed that because like I was... I was getting burnt out with the Ender 3 Pro. I know there's people who love it. Uh, there's people who love Creality. But, like, I I just didn't have the time to devote to it. And that's what it came down to. I wanted to have where I could get stuff done versus fixing something. And I, I think this is done right now. So, yeah, so far, Bamboo Lab A1 is is is, is super awesome. And I think, I think it's done now. Is it? Is it done? Just... I think it's done. Let's let's see what it did. Cause I got I got time here. And it's raising up all the way. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, oh, you had me at fun tune. So after it finished printing and I, I figured out how to get it off the, the build plate there. It's it's fantastic. Like it just popped right on there. I need to clean off the the filament it, it put on the plate there. But yeah, it it just went on. It looks better than anything that I printed with the Ender 3 Pro, and it just worked. I'm excited to see what else I can print. Maybe I can get like back into printing those little ogre leg half giant leg pegs, and we'll we'll see how those are on this because I I thought they were pretty decent on the Ender 3 Pro. They might be even better on here. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.